Hello, everybody. Welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear. Today, we're jumping into some ranked Reaper gameplay to see what we can put together with this new meta in the world of Wolper Tiger and Dancing Dragon. So let's jump in and see what we can do. I'm really hoping that we get a run where we can find the Dancing Dragon even. The devs said that they've increased the drop rate for it this week specifically. Uh, so hopefully that means that it is out here and we can find it. And I'm going to I'm going to play this round as if I'm planning to get Dancing Dragon so that if we get it, we're ready for it. So that means we're going to want uh, as many sources of heat as we can get. And you know what? I'm not going to save that. Don't know why I did that. Take a customer card to make it hopefully easier to find the dancing dragon and i'll just buy the uh piggy bank there to get us some extra money um but yeah I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna play as if we're trying to get it so we're gonna try and have a bunch of heat and um hopefully luck sources as well by the time we get it um so you know blueberries and um mana will be useful in that regard definitely buy that and stick that in there Probably just go ahead and sell that actually. Uh, and then put you there. Do something like that. Oop, there's a blueberry. Uh, sorry, pig, you don't have a home at the moment. We'll save that and we can put you there. Uh, so yeah, the blueberries, in case you didn't know, once you hit 10 mana, they start giving you luck. The Dancing Dragon is a unique item they've just added this week that scales damage based on luck and heat. So if we have a lot of, if we're gaining a lot of luck because of blueberries, then that'll be beneficial to that. Um, I mean, does it make sense to go for an Excalibur this early? Maybe, right? Maybe. It's definitely more damage, and uh, I don't think we'll be able to trigger its mana effect. I don't think we have enough mana generation for that, uh, but the damage is better. We beat Rogue, Rogue Soldier with what we had there, so that's pretty good. All right, uh, we can throw that there and put you there, so yeah. Got pretty good damage with Excalibur. And ooh, Genie Lamp already. Wow. Okay. Um, I definitely think that's a good call to take that. So, uh, since it's on sale anyway. If that wasn't on sale, I wouldn't take it this early. It's not gonna we're not gonna be able to get it to activate, but it'll at least uh, give us some extra luck uh, because it does generate luck. And yeah, so we can th throw you there. There's another blueberry that'll help also. Uh, maybe I want to put that there though. Because then it'll speed both of these up and it activates faster. So it's activating inside the coffin, which is applying poison. This Excalibur is also applying poison since it goes off so quickly. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes against a Falcon Blade. Fucking melts them. Melting them. Love it. All right. Well, um, cheap stone skin with a pestilence flask seems like a decent idea, but I definitely need somewhere to put them. I think what I may do is I may keep that reserved so I can make this strong stone skin. And then once that's made, I can stick this underneath it to activate the actual stone skin. Um, I kind of want to buy the leather armor on sale as well. Just mostly because it's on sale. Um, but it could come in handy later. We might want it later. And because it's on sale now, even if we decide we don't want it, we can just sell it back for the price that we bought it for. No harm, no foul. A little bit of a savings account, if nothing else. And we weren't using that gold right that second anyway, so. 
Uh, I do like the idea of grabbing Mr. Struggles, mostly just because he's got a new uh, ability activation. And I'm kind of curious how that works in game or in match, I should say. There's a mana orb that'll get us mana for Excalibur or alternatively get us up to 10 mana for blueberries quicker. Get us to that point quicker. Um, I do need to do something like that. Well, I guess I just do. Well, no, I put you there and then why can't I, why can't I do this thing? All right. What if I move you like that? There we go. Okay. It's got that saved. All good to go there. So we'll get started. <laughs> we will get started. All right. Corrupted armor. So they're going to be cleansing the debuffs i put on them and giving them back to us and making it harder for us to cleanse but we don't really cleanse at the moment uh we're still melting them and oh okay they had lots more poison on us we knew that was coming though just from the uh just from what that weapon does or that uh armor i, I should say not weapon all right, more stamina is great. There we go. And then I kind of want to put you there. Um, I'm losing out on several places for my Excalibur though. So it almost feels like it'd be, make more sense to do something like that. And then I can put mana orb there. Feels better anyway. Uh, and then you, you, and save you, and I can stick that right there. Um, okay, I kind of, I'm, I'm cool with that. At some point, we will be removing shovel and replacing it. Uh, I probably could have taken like the the reaper scythe that was there, not the blood harvester, the other one which doubles poison uh, especially since we're getting that second pestilence flask and uh, really kind of stacked up these levels of poison but that's not really what uh this is shaping up to being i don't think there's that okay oh i'm out of gold all right let's sell you let's go ahead and sell the pig i think it's time for that and then I'll put you like that and you can go, um, maybe is it time to sell leather armor also? Might be, might be, or it may just be time to sell the shovel. Am I being greedy by hanging on to it? If I sell it, it'll sell for four. I could buy the, the, mushroom here and fit my blueberry in there i think i like the idea of that there and there and then it almost gives me space for my armor too maybe if i do real close um real close hmm i'm like so close to having enough space for this armor in and it's making me really want to try to make it happen uh that loses another spot there I mean, I guess I could just do that. Uh, but realistically, that mana orb is doing nothing for me there. Although 45 extra armor and resist resisting three debuffs is probably worth 
losing a couple mana over, right? Uh, we only need, what, 12? Yeah, we only need 12 to trigger everything. Beautiful. That worked out great. That worked out perfectly. Okay. So we don't really have any stamina issues. We have low stamina, so I'm not going to take the heroic potion. Stone skin could be good, but again, we're not really going for that specifically. I kind of like the idea of doing corrupted crystal, but we're not doing a ton of poison. Um, and so, you know, for every seven, we would get six armor. It's nice to get that extra armor. Yeah, I guess that isn't a horrible idea, honestly. And then... I don't think we need... Well, maybe. If we continuously make mana, then we're getting more luck, and the luck helps us. Yeah, so that's, I mean... Again, we're playing, we're playing, assuming that we're going to get the dancing dragon at some point. That's really my hope is that we're going to get the dancing dragon and we're going to be getting a lot of vampirism here, but you know what? When we start with 132 freaking armor, that's pretty damn good. Uh, and I only need, there we go. We got our, uh, genie lamp to activate. So that's pretty good. It's kind of slow activation time unfortunately but i will buy this so that we can do that and then i'm also buying uh pack of cards so we can get the hollow lizard i'm gonna buy the second corrupted crystal and put it on the leather armor because it actually did uh, did a decent amount this past uh run so it got us a decent amount of armor i mean we are i mean we're not applying no poison you know we're applying a decent amount of poison so they are stealing our luck. That is our luck, you bastards. We need that to activate our genie lamp. That's okay. We took them out anyway. Got up to nine wins. Do that to get ourselves some heat. Oh, wait. Pointing that the wrong direction. And keep rolling. We can grab this. Move you down. And then put you there. Um... You still are in a shitty spot. I am going to reserve Ruby Egg, obviously. That's what we've been waiting for for a while now. That'll get our Ruby Whelp in there and get us some more heat. And then once we get this Dancing Dragon that we're definitely going to get this run and not going to lose out on, uh, it'd be nice to get another customer card so we can increase our unique chance uh, with a Platinum customer card. But uh, we'll have to see how that goes. There we go. All right. Off to survival to hopefully find the dancing dragon at some point. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. There's that. I'm not going to buy any more blueberries. We have a bunch of blueberries. I will save the other hollow lizard, though, and the customer card there. Um, I really need to get this ruby egg hatched. I only have five rounds. So I think what I might do, actually... Hmm... I don't know. I don't actually know. I was going to say I may actually just pull these cards out do something like that to give it somewhere to hatch. You just put that there. Um, it sucks, but I think that's probably the best call. Really, I could put it like there and then I could keep this up top. I like the idea of putting that in there instead though. Ditching that garlic. Um.
Hmm. If I move this down, then I can put you guys there. It's a little bit less mana, but let's be honest, this mana orb wasn't doing much, and I could honestly do it just like that. Um, the customer card, one customer card isn't really going to change our unique chance all that much, so that's why I'm not really worried about losing that one there. They are stealing a lot of our freaking armor. They're doing a ton of damage. Oh, God, this hurts. It hurts so bad. Oh, God. Doesn't matter though, we still win thanks to poison. Fuck your crit wood. Fuck your crit wood. Fuck your pets. All your damn pets and your Wolpertinger. I mean, look at all those buffs you had, but it didn't even matter. All right. Um, there's our second customer card. We need bag space. There we go. Um, I'm going to hang on to that for a second. Actually, you know what? I need to do boop, 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 boop. There we go. That fills up our uh, potion belts, which means we will cleanse four debuffs once we consume them all. And honestly, that might not be great in the order I have it because um, probably won't have four debuffs when it goes off because it'll go off basically instantly. We'll find out. All right, let's get started. Still looking for Dancing Dragon. We only got four rounds to find it. And uh, Ruby Whelp will be coming home next round. Or actually, we'll, yeah, Ruby Whelp will be here next round. And then we'll make the Ruby Chunk immediately after that. Uh, look, yeah, wow. Bloodthorn fucking sucks. Hate going up against that thing. So let's see, did our... Uh, did our uh, potion belt even do anything for us? So all of these went off. We gained one. We gained one. That's from the uh, when the first potion is combined or consumed, you get a random buff. Uh, but at that point, we didn't have any debuffs. So, yeah. I, I often forget how shitty the uh, potion belt is now. It used to be so good. There we go. So we can make our Ruby Chonk now. Go ahead and, and do that. I am gonna pull the cards out for the moment. We're just gonna roll through and try and get, uh, now that we have customer card, we should have a 10% increased chance of finding unique. So we're just gonna roll through and hope beyond hope that we uh, get Dancing Dragon. I realize I'm spending way too much on rerolls. Still not there. Dancing Dragon is not there for me. All right. Slow it down so we can watch what's happening. We got a lot more poison on them, but they do have a shitload of spikes. Uh, luckily, our Ruby, Ch our Ruby Whelp is burning them down. They resisted a lot of that poison with the Poison Ivy, but it didn't even matter. We took them out anyway. All right. Wolpertinger coming out to say hi. I mean, sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm really looking for, for your friend. If you know where your friend is at, the dancing dragon, you could send him out here. That would be amazing. I mean, fuck, man. Where is this damn dragon at? I got the ultimate setup for him. Look at all. I got three luck and two heat already. Six luck, four heat. Dragon would love hanging out here. We got him all his favorite food. I probably would have won that round if he was here. So our last round to get him. I mean, just going to keep rolling, see if we can't find him. This is one thing that I, I kind of hate about the unique items. Yeah, I mean, he's not here. Is you can't build for him. And so 90% of the time, it doesn't make sense to take a unique item because unless you get it in the first, like, five rounds, 
because you have you can't commit to building for uh, for that item. I mean, it's just it doesn't make any sense to to commit to something like that. You're gonna lose all your rounds. Uh, you know, the, I would have done this much differently were I specifically just going for Excalibur, which honestly, I'm kind of fucking surprised we lost this one. Uh, I mean, they obviously had a ton of armor and a ton of lifesteal and everything, but 58 poison on them, plus our ex, our genie lamp went off at least once for Excalibur. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, I still had a blast running that build. Um, would have loved, loved, loved to find the dancing dragon. I don't really know where I would have put him, but we would have figured it out. And, uh, you know, oh, well, uh, it is what it is. Unfortunately, it was not in the cards to find the dancing dragon today. Hopefully, maybe next time we try it out, we'll be able to find him. Uh, or maybe, you know, he's shy against Reapers. He, he doesn't want to hang out with Ruby Chonk, but that's really going to be the best way to utilize it. I just wish there was an easier way to find it. I mean, it's supposed to be increased chance of finding him this week. And I had a platinum customer card, which increases my chance by another 10%. And I didn't see a single unique the whole time besides, you know, my class item. I, I, I don't know. I have, I have really bad luck with uniques though, which is why I don't aim for them much. I mean, even at the end here, we didn't have anything too outstanding. We were, we were really, really banking on getting that dancing dragon it just didn't happen so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy content like this go ahead and subscribe i put out a new video every single day so there's always something to watch if you have any comments on this build or uh, your insights on the dancing dragon or any of the new things from the update i'd love to hear them and if you uh, want to interact further with the herrenstein bear community you can click the link right down in the description to get early access to all the videos i post access to exclusive content and at our highest tier a shout out in every single video like jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob. You're amazing. Thank you for your support. And to everyone else who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, you're awesome as well. So thank you for your support also. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye.